Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with RxPy. Our viewer asks, how can we wait for parallel threads to complete? This is a crucial aspect of asynchronous programming, and understanding it can significantly improve your code's efficiency. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To wait for all parallel threads to complete in RxPy, we need to ensure that our main thread does not exit before the observable sequence has finished processing. Let's start by examining the code provided. In the current implementation, the main thread completes before the notifications from the observables are fired. This is why we see all done printed before the results from the calculations. To fix this, we can use the to blocking method, which allows us to block the main thread until all notifications have been processed. However, we need to ensure it's used correctly. Here's how the modified code looks. Notice the addition of two blocking in the chain before the subscribe method. Now, when you run the modified code, the output will show that all calculations are completed before all done is printed. This ensures that your main thread waits for all parallel tasks. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To wait for RxPy parallel threads to complete using ThreadPool Scheduler, first create a scheduler with a specified pool size, then make your parallel calls. Finally, call the shutdown method to wait for all threads to finish. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To wait for RxPy parallel threads to complete, you can use the run method. Note that blocking observables have been removed in version 3 of RxPy. Here's a code example. First, import necessary libraries and define an intense calculation function that simulates a delay. Next, set up a thread pool scheduler and create a dictionary of values. Use RxPy to process each item in parallel. Finally, Use the from iterable method to create an observable from the dictionary, applying the intense calculation and subscribing on the thread pool. This will allow you to wait for all calculations to complete and print the results. I hope that video helped get through to the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please, hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a great one. Cheers.